Maryland sports fans, there's only one sports book in the great state of Maryland with over 50 years' experience booking bets and supporting customers. Bet Fred Sportsbook at Long Shots is now open and is the only sports book in Frederick offering cash betting on football, basketball, world soccer, and more. Visit the Bedfred Sportsbook at I-270 and MD-85 in Frederick, right next to Longshot's Off-Track Betting. Go to BedfredSports.com for more information and your chance to win exclusive merchandise. Must be 21 or older. Play responsibly. For help, call 1-800-GAMBLER. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian Cosby, right out of Oklahoma City. I got my co-host, Weird Wolf Ava Gore, joining us tonight. How are you, Ava? I am good. How are you? Awesome. And I got uh, Danny and Brandon from the band Rosecrest. How are you fellas doing? I'm awake now. Phenomenal. You I'm a big it. fan of that intro, bud. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah dude. It's, it's you. Yeah, it's funny. I say it's hot. The band that wrote that's called Hot Zone. I don't think they watch the show that much, but I fucking love them for doing that intro. It's like been a staple of kind of our show. So thanks to them. Uh, I, I want to say that I do have an announcement at the end of the show. Um, and hopefully I, I remember. Sometimes I forget things, and I hope I don't forget this time. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we got, the, we got the band here. All right. So tell us a little bit about the band Rosecrest. I know you guys are from Ohio. When did Unfortunately. you guys- <laughs> I, well, that's a good place to be in a band, right? Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have some greats that came out of here: Hawthorne Heights, Devil Wears Prada. I mean, we, that's right. We they have are a few. from Ohio. They are. All right, so you guys are kind of now. When I first heard the song when it started, and I did play not your newest music video, but like another video that's kind of a music video, which we'll we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Uh, yeah. When I, I, I kind of got some pop punk. But then as the song kind of went on, I got a little bit more kind of the screamo, emo, uh, alternative vibe. So tell us about your style of music and kind of what the band's all about. Yeah, so all of us are influenced by a lot of different bands. I mean, stuff from like 2000s alternative to like um, more modern, like metal and like pop punk and stuff like that. So really for us it's just about writing music that sounds good to us um like some of my favorite bands growing up were the used um like for romance nice. and nice. stuff nowadays like like tur- now nowadays stuff like turnover story so far right so for me it's just kind of like a amalgamation of everything that's popular but at the same time stuff we grew up and loved oh. brandon what do you say about that yeah i mean he's totally right um we kind of we, we grew up on the stuff you know i'm I, I used to be an emo kid. I had my emo phase. Um, I, I love pop punk. To. I. But did you wear yeah, eyeliner? Did you, did you, did you, did you wear, I, I did not go that far. I did not wear eyeliner, but what? I had like the I had like the super emo red and black stripe hoodie, and I had yes. like purple skinny jeans. And and you know I, I I'm a bigger guy. I was a bigger kid, so it was just super awkward all around. Um, yeah, we don't have to talk about that anymore. I looked like I had a raccoon on my head. It was gonna, good times. We're going we're gonna to keep on talking about it. I went through that phase. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, I guess, I'm still in that phase. <laughs> yeah, you can. Well, I, I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, every now and then, I still throw on the eyeliner when I'm feeling kind of froggy, you know? Like, I, I'm going through a midlife crisis where I'm like, eyeliner, I still look good, even though I'm bald now. It's still looks good with the hat on. Man, it's good with the I hat feel on. The I, oh, I feel yeah. the balding standing. Yeah, I wear like hats to shows all the time now because I'm like, oh god, I'm almost thirty and it's getting worse. So, <laughs> I have too uh, much hair. It doesn't there's get a... better. It doesn't get better. I promise you. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a reason I'm heart. wearing the hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's okay. 
So, Rose, Crystal, when did you guys start playing? And when you first started playing, was this the style that you guys were definitely going for? Or was it just a mix of let's get some guitar, some vocals, some drums, and let's just see what kind of sound we produce together? The lore is all you, Danny. Yeah, Yeah, so Brandon came along a little later. Originally, uh, it was me, Ed, and our drummer, Matt. Ed's our other guitar player currently. And uh, we started just as honestly like a, a punk trio. Um, doing stuff similar to like early Green Day, um, social distortion kind of stuff. And we did it really. I mean, we were all working day jobs. I was traveling a lot for work for fun. Uh, and that was, it was more of a release than anything. A um, couple of years went by, though. Um, and, you know, we got to start some to know some people in the local scene um, from our friends in like Navery and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the idea of trying to take things a little more seriously came up. Uh, we tried getting some members and, you know, uh, I mean, if you've ever played in a band, if you're watching this, you know how that goes. So we ran through a couple and then eventually found Brandon and Chance. Um, but yeah, originally it wasn't really the sound. It was just kind of a, let's do punk music for fun. And eventually we were like, okay, what do we really want to write and do stuff? Because a lot of the songs we played were covers. Um, yeah. Just, you know, like stuff off of Dookie and stuff like that. But um, So like yeah, good no, covers, the, like punk covers. Like, yeah, not, <laughs> not, 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 not. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, okay, I'm not going to knock anybody. You're going to name drop? But, you gonna no, I'm not going to name drop. drop. I'm, not, I'm not name dropping. I'm not name dropping. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but you guys play like good, like punk covers. And that's where I say kind of the pop punk sound. When I first, yeah. the song when I first starts maybe comes from, and then the band decided to take a shift towards more, maybe what you wanted to play. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, the the motto we still have, even the stuff we're writing now and the song we're in the studio for next, it's just like, if it sounds good and we like it, we don't give a fuck, we're going to do it. Um, right. And I think that's the best way to do it. So uh, I think trying to limit yourself to one genre now, especially when there's so many different alternative acts out there, yeah. uh, doing all these different things like water parks, you know, stories far. I can keep naming all these different bands. Um, you know, limiting yourself to one genre is just not... A good idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely oh. agree with that. Um, my band, we attract a lot of, like, goth people. And we got mm-hmm. shit on recently because, like, we have, like, a funky bass line. And they're like, you can't be goth and have funk Man. in there. Like, yeah, you can. Fuck them. Fuck them. Like <laughs> you know? If I if I had a like a dollar for every non artist that told me oh you should do this then <laughs> that I should do I would literally have no debt it would be great. So. <laughs> <laughs> so so when the band starts so is it was it the two of you like the main originators of the group or how did you find the members to join after you decided you were gonna kind of make a band and, and do something with it you know because it's hard it's hard to find people that are serious. And, and play music sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll speak real quick on the early days. And then, uh, Brandon, you can kind of fill in when you sure. join. But ori- originally, like I said, it was me and Ed and Matt. Um, I knew Matt growing up. Uh, we lived in the same neighborhood. He was, you know, our drummer. Um, and he knew Ed through work. And that's how we started playing together. So um, I moved up from Texas at the time. I was living in Dallas. And uh, I was like, hey, I hear you guys are trying to start a band. And that's how it happened. Um, eventually, when we started getting more serious, though, I, we had a vocalist join us and a, a bass player in the local scene. Um, but things just didn't work out. They had other projects. Uh, a lot of musicians here are involved in two, three different bands, right? So just commitment to those and like started the idea of starting a new band. And we wanted this to be like our primary, but uh, yeah, so that didn't work out. Uh, they, you know, left. Eventually we uh, found Brandon on, on Facebook. I think he messaged us cause we put an ad out about it. Um, Brandon, you want to no, be, be clear? It was not Craigslist. <laughs> I'm not trying to end up on like you know CNN or something. Like I met my best friend on Craigslist. Yeah, no, it happened. She, oh, she hey, did. That's so hey, sick. And, and and you did not meet each other on Backpage.com. <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we don't really <laughs> have to go into know what that is. Backpage is like actually, a prostitution. <laughs> Craigslist is what that is. Awesome. Oh my God. Thanks, Sebastian. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. All right, Brandon, take it away yeah so um basically where i came from was for years i was just making music on my own i i could not find 
anybody that wasn't already in an established band or anybody that actually wanted to take being in a band seriously. So right. for years, I, you know, I made my own stuff and I got so sick of having to write everything. I'm like, wow, I wish I could just bounce some ideas off of somebody, you know? Yeah. Um, and I, 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 I'm like a member of a bunch of like local musicians pages on Facebook and I saw their ad and I, uh, they sent me a demo. I ended up like recording myself over it. Um, they seemed to like it. And then they sent me other demos and I decided to, I was going to really wow them. And I just like wrote yeah. some lyrics to like, I think two of the other demos that they sent me and I recorded it and sent it to them. Okay. And uh, Listen, he did this in like, he did this like in a day and a half. And if you've yeah. ever tried out vocalists for original songs, like that's that's not how it rolls. It's like at least a week, two weeks, I, maybe even a month process. <laughs> I, yeah. I I really wanted it. I really wanted it. And uh, well, I'm here, so I think I nailed it. Yeah. But I mean, some of not all of the lyrics that I wrote in like a day and a half, like actually made it to the final release. But a good portion of them definitely did. Um, I was really feeling the song, so it was super easy to write most of them. So that's awesome. And real quick, Tiffany, I don't know if you know who Tiffany is, and she says hello, hey. guys. Told you I'd be hey, watching. Jeff. She's so awesome. And then Sam, my producer and sometimes co-host and pretty much manager of the show, says lies, but he always calls me a liar. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know what I was lying about. I probably lied about something. <laughs> but this is probably a lie in there. But you guys are awesome. Lies, you lie. <laughs> You lied, no, I'm just kidding. All well, right. I have a question. <laughs> oh, go ahead, Ava. Question. What's your question? Um, at what point in uh, either one of your lives did you realize that it was something that you wanted to do, like, seriously? So, hey, that's deep. Uh, Brandon, Brandon, you or me first? Uh, oh, fuck it, I'll go. I'll yeah, go. there you fuck go. It. Uh, I, already, <laughs> I, I already talked too much as this. So, <laughs> for, for, okay. for me, it's I feel... It's a podcast. Like, for, <laughs> for for me, I feel like I always knew, like deep down, that I wanted to pursue it. But uh, just the the family I grew up in, and kind of the people around me, pursuing the arts wasn't really um, encouraged. Like it was like, oh yeah, you can do that, but go pursue math, pursue science, whatever, get a degree, all that stuff. The real job. And, uh, yeah, that no, oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> but but, uh, but uh, yeah, so. You know, I went through school, did all that, did college, and then traveled around the country for work for a couple years. And uh, the thing I found is just, quite frankly, uh, I wanted to die. Uh, I wasn't happy. Um, I wasn't doing anything that I really loved. And then when I came back and started to play more and started playing with Ed and the guy and Matt, you know, we started doing it. It, it was at that moment was kind of like, okay, at some point I want to do this. I just don't know how or when because at that point I was like. 24 25 and i was like well i would just be brand new in the scene you know like <laughs> i like i i don't know i just dealt with imposter syndrome i guess a lot in that regard yeah. but um i think really that like that first show and the old punk band right i think that was when it really like clicked like i gotta do this i don't know how i don't know how long it's gonna take me to in my current situation working nine to five and doing photo stuff and this but eventually i've got to find a way to migrate fully over to doing this for a living so uh, for me it was probably the first time we played live in 2017 yeah it's it, i'll say that i'll say that being in a band and making that commitment to do music like that i mean it's like you're either going to go in all the way or if you got one foot in it's yeah. not going to work it's never going to work if you got one foot in yeah. it's never going to work i mean no. some people like it that way though so it works for them well, 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 Ava. Okay, they're, they're okay, okay. There's a Dipsy oh, band. That, <laughs> yeah. Well, my band is kind of similar, but I'm in a crappy band. All right. <laughs> my band sucks. I, 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 I doubt that. <laughs> no, no, it really is. It's, it's really, it's really bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. We got, we got like one song that we're still working on. Like, oh, no, All right. Let's talk about the EP. Uh, and by the way, everyone's crapping on me saying I don't do my research, and I don't sometimes, but I did know that you guys are, have an EP that just came out, Bad Decisions, right? And yeah. it's a, a four-song EP. Yep. yep. It's a little boy. It's, it's Yeah. Well, that's, that's an EP, right? It's not a whole album. It's an EP. Yeah. So, and one of those songs is Sinking Ship, right? Yep. And the other yep. one is, I wrote it down here because I asked. 
Keeping Pace. Now, Keeping Pace has the actual music video to it. D- Danny's laughing yeah. at me like you fucking idiot. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, <Dad. laughs> Keeping Keeping Pace is the actual music video that you guys have, but the other song, Sinking Ship, was a video that what did a friend shoot that video for you guys? Just kind of as you were in the studio, or yeah. how how that happen? So the song was already recorded. Um, that was uh, we were playing at Leo's, I think, in Middletown, Ohio. Um, a buddy of ours, Kyle McDowell, who plays in a band called Raised by Wolves, um, he does video work, and he was like, "Hey, I'll come out and do this for you if you want." And we were like, "Free content, sure." So uh, he just got, got some highlights of us playing, and you know, slapped an MP3 to it, and that was the day. So it's cool for us because it was kind of a free music video in a way Uh, right but you know so you know any any band right now that turns down free content with quite frankly not knowing if shows are going to be pulled in one week (laughs) is not doing it the right way so yeah yeah. but yeah kyle did that thanks homie if you're watching you're the best love you forever love you kyle hell yeah all right let's play the song sinking ship which is your newest video that's on youtube that we just talked about and then we're going to talk about your show coming up in a couple days. So here we go with Sinking yeah. Ship by Rosecrest. Here we go. The band. <laughs> yep. right. All right. Yeah. You know what? I got out of there. I got a little Taking Back Sunday. Yeah. Little Hawthorne Heights. Um, yeah. A little bit of even like early Bear Tooth. I don't know what, Ava, what do you think? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I feel like it's one thing that like musicians like don't necessarily like to hear. 
But, I don't you know, care. Like, I say what I want. <laughs> I say what I feel like. But, you know, like it is definitely yeah. it, it, it's good. I like I like it a lot. <laughs> is that didn't say you guys sound like, like Weird it. Al or something? That's what I'm saying. Oh, dude, he's a legend. Well, now we talk. Let, what? Go ahead. No, you're good. No, you're good. You're good. I was going to say legendarily, not what I want to sound like, but, you know. <laughs> it's better than nothing. I mean. Yeah, see? Yeah. Better than nothing. Take what you can get, man. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Take what you get. What would you say that you're – it kind of goes back to kind of an earlier question, I guess, but who would you say your inspirations are? I know you said you listened to some of those uh, early 2000s kind of – like screamo emo type, but would you say those bands still kind of inspire you your music today, or is it uh, a, maybe a little bit different? So for I, me, I mean, um, no, no, you, you go, no, you go ahead. Go. No, oh, you go I ahead. go ahead. I go ahead. Okay. So, I'd say like my big ones are brand new. Um, like Devil and God was a huge deal to me. That album, um, Turnover modern band that's huge to me and another one's counterparts uh which is not the style of music really at all but um yeah so for me it's just kind of a bunch of stuff but definitely on my end some inspiration from you know mid-2000s alternative female stuff brandon yeah i mean we i mean we breathe that stuff as kids i mean that that's what got us through our childhood was that kind of music so of, of course, always those those influences, those, you know, those older emo pop punk bands are always going to be like a part of me and it's always going to shine through in yeah. the music that I make. And I mean, you know, it, it's not even those kind of bands like, you know, I, I really love like, you know, 90s grunge era rock and, you know, alternative. And I love I love deathcore. I love metalcore. I mean, I, I love I love a lot of stuff. And, you know, when when I joined Rosecrest and it was, you know, this is the kind of sound we're going with. I wanted to scream a little bit because it, it just felt right to me. Like, you know, it, it was kind of like that, the younger side of me just kind of lashing out, you know, just kind of, just a little rebellious, just a little, a little bite, you know, and it just, right. it, it ended up just sounding right and it feels right, you know. That, so let's talk about your show coming up on Friday, which is like in a couple of days. It is not canceled yet. Not yet. No. Not yet. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Don't 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 wish that on me, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I, you know I you know I have it before I get before we get to the concert, I do gotta ask uh Danny, how do you get from Dallas to Ohio? Uh the, I worked in warehouse management and stuff like that. So they were big on moving people around and shit like that. And I'm originally from Dayton, so Okay, After college, okay. it was kind of like, oh, take, it was kind of like, take whatever job I can get. It wasn't like, oh, I've never been to Ohio. That sounds cool, you know? <laughs> so, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dallas yeah. was cool, though, man. I mean. What, what? Dallas, what? what? Like, okay, I've never been to Oklahoma <laughs> yeah. because, because I have a, well, I can, you know, I can say anything and, I can, and anyone will believe me because nobody knows. So, I mean, people will know, but I can just say anything I want to. <laughs> I ended up in Oklahoma because I bought an airplane ticket and I got here and I'm still here. That's why that's why I got here. Yeah. Had to do right with my space, my old band, and a long, long time ago of uh Sam knows. Sam knows why I ended up in Oklahoma. I'll tell you guys after the show. Very How about defensive. that? <laughs> I'm not was defensive, wasn't it? I got like all like all You're- like defensive. That's not cool, man. Your That's secret cool. safe with me. Your yep. secret safe with me, Sebastian. I, you know, I, I thank you. I, pre- I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. All right. So your show on Friday, who are you guys playing with? Some other local bands, some bigger bands? What's going on there? And where is it at for people yeah. that may want to see it? It's in Legends. It's Chevy Auto, Ohio, if you happen to be in the Cincinnati area. Um, it's a cool venue. But uh, bands-wise, it's mostly locals. Um, we've had a couple had to drop out um, and stuff due to covid literally yeah um, so uh we've got some friends and falling through time they're like a um, kind of like a hard rock band um i think white stripes but heavier um we've got unrivaled on there without end which is more like a metalcore act um but some cool stuff a good variety um so it'll be a fun time we're pretty excited about it but uh i just yeah. want to say i saw a comment from a guy named sam shit talking me about my sandals Fuck off. <laughs> and, they're, and, and they're the best. They're comfy and they're the best show shoes. So, <laughs> yeah. Boom. Boom. Yep. Yeah. You, know, you know, Sam does work with Tiffany over at uh, 
Attic Echo. He's my producer of my show. That's fine. He's, fine. he's always talking shit about me, so who cares? He might pop on here now. You never know. He could pop on here. He They're could pop on here. <laughs> I still love you, Sam, but screw you. <laughs> those sandals are legendary, man. Like those, those. Yeah. That's what's bringing us Dude. to the top. Do you not trip yeah, on those like, sandals on stage? Like, do you not like? No, like, do you no. not sometimes you wear sandals like they fold because like they're getting old? Like they just kind of fold under you. It's like no, because I don't I'm know. A, that happens to I'm me. Not a fucking dweeb, so I'm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not a fucking dork, man. Yeah. I wear my sandals. Yeah, God. Wow. Yeah, damn right. They're comfy. But, I got uh, me. I got me yeah. talking about work wearing sandals without socks on. They're like, why? Why you? I was like, what, why would you wear socks with sandals? That doesn't make any sense yeah, to me. Yeah, no. But people do. Nah. But nah. mad respect though for doing what makes you happy. Mad respect. <laughs> hey. Yeah. What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> mad respect. Appreciate you. Oh, 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 Sam is joining. Sam is joining. He hold on. He's, oh, he's, he's in the studio. Like, he's, he's in so the studio. Let's Uh-oh. see. Oh. Let's Hi, see. Let's see. Okay. Pop on screen, Sam. For I pop you on. Oh my god. Pop on. Oh, there he is. Hi, I Sam. Your choice words. I yeah, I love the sandals. Yeah. I said, love just still. use the sandals. <laughs> hey, someone had to start those things. Can't hear you. So, so bless oh. you. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just giving. You know, the only reason why he he uh, uh, is he, he's in that state is because that's the only state that will allow herpes. Put <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> 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 This ain't my, this ain't my interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, my setup behind me is horrible, so I don't even have my microphone, nothing. So, all right, get out of here. See you guys later. Get out of here, Sam. All right. I love Sam. I love Sam. All right, look, before we, I do have an announcement to make that we, and I will say it today, right now, that we are now a part of the Pantheon Podcast Network. So, we're excited about that. All right, super grateful. And so, looking to see where that goes. Um, Ava, do you have any last questions for, uh, for them before I give them the floor to talk about something maybe we, well, didn't, we didn't mention? Before that, adding on to the Pantheon thing, we did create a Patreon also. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I was going to mention that at the end. Oh, it's <laughs> not like it's any time. We're making an announcement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one announcement and then like okay. Another <laughs> announcement to make. Check out patreon.com forward slash the loud spot and give me all your money. Okay, now Ava, last question uh, for you for, to ask the band before we give them the floor. Um, what what's your favorite part about being a musician? And I love this question. I ask it a lot, but what's your favorite? Ooh, uh, breaking out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, the first time I got up on stage with Rosecrest was the first time getting on stage ever. Um, nice. I'm historically not a very like uh like self-confident person you know so it's it's kind of weird that i'm decided to be like the front man of a band but let me tell you when i get up on that stage and i sing the songs that i wrote and like people are like singing it back to me and stuff it's like the most incredible feeling ever and it's like a high and you have to chase it so like before every show i'm incredibly nervous i got the imposter syndrome and stuff but if i can just force myself to do it it's so freaking worth it <laughs> I, feel oh like, I feel like you and i are very similar <laughs> i can like that hard yeah. danny your turn to answer the question yeah for me it's got to be like just the support and stuff we've gotten from our songs from the local scene here and like people that i have no fucking clue who they are um when they come up and at shows or whatever they're like man i really like the fall when you guys put it out and that song i really connected with it and stuff like that it that is legit like as good as sex it's a great feeling and that's got to be my favorite thing so <laughs> it's just when people come up and they're like hey um i really appreciate your music and stuff like that so connecting with people on it so something that you wrote and created. And Sharon does say this, uh, front man, easy sex. So that's, yes. that's, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you sure how to take that. Yeah, it, I don't know how to take that, but at the same time, I agree. So thank you. That wasn't really a question. It was more like a statement, right? All right. Anything that you guys want to talk about, that maybe about your EP, merchandise, uh, working on a website maybe, something you want to tell people that are going to watch now in the future about your band and uh, take, take take the floor for, for like a minute or so. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, so we're working on a 
we're working on a merch store. Um, that'll be up soon. Uh, we're about to place some order for some new shirts and stuff. So keep your eyes peeled on our page. If you like our music and want to buy stuff from us, that'd be really cool, especially if shows are going to get shut down. Okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> come see us as Legends Friday. Uh, we're in the studio working on a new song that we're hoping to put out soon. And if you happen to be in the Cincinnati area, we're playing it at Legends for the first time this Friday. So we're pretty excited about it. And then uh, awesome. we've also got got a uh, split EP with a band called Heavyhead coming out later this year or early next year. Um, that's going to be called LimeWire and focus on some covers that we're pretty excited about. So Nice. Anything, Brandon, you want to you say before we end the show? Uh, thanks for having us on. Uh, I love you guys. I love all the listeners. I, I love the incredibly attractive dudes that I play in a band with. Um, and Is that a heart? That's a heart. I'm vibing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You, got, you, know, you, know, you guys got some good things going on. I like the music. Like you guys are headed. Congratulations on the show that hopefully does not get canceled. It's like two days away, so I'm sure it's going to happen. And hopefully you guys get on the road and able to tour soon. Go buy some merch for you guys. Check them out on YouTube. They're on. I'm sure you're on Spotify. You got your Facebook. Yeah. Check you guys out on Facebook. All that good stuff. Thank you guys for being on the show. Don't go anywhere till after the outro. The out outro. The outro uh, song plays. I do want to tell everyone, please go to www.theloudspot.net. Check us out on YouTube. Uh, check us out on Spotify. Check us out on iHeartRadio, Apple, all that stuff. Patreon. We're, Patreon, yep. We're st- <laughs> Thanks, Ava. We're still trying to figure out. And by the way, Christian and Peter, we are still trying to figure out how to, uh, I, which I have to work on tonight with Sam, on how to upload these to the new platform, which we are going to work on. I promise you we will work on it. And I think that is about all I got. I'm just, I'm just like talking, trying to find my outro song, which I do every fucking episode. <laughs> I can never. I got to move that goddamn thing. Okay, here we go. You guys don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Peace out. Rock on. Much love. This is the loud spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have us back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. Our pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order. This is over. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. Don't forget to go to our YouTube and subscribe. If you want to listen to our audio and pick up some cool merch, go to www.theloudspot.net. Peace out, rock on, much love. Maryland sports fans, there's only one sports book in the great state of Maryland with over 50 years experience booking bets and supporting customers. Bet Fred Sportsbook at Long Shots is now open and is the only sports book in Frederick offering cash betting on football, basketball, world soccer, and more. Visit the Bedfred Sportsbook at I-270 and MD-85 in Frederick, right next to Longshot's Off-Track Betting. Go to BedfredSports.com for more information and your chance to win exclusive merchandise. Must be 21 or older. Play responsibly. For help, call 1-800-GAMBLER.